Chair for inviting me to be here in this such a wonderful gathering and what uh, we all are doing towards uh, promoting veganism is so necessary in today's time and uh, sometimes we say that the world is suffering uh, from the violence of the bad people but really speaking the world is suffering not so much from the violence of the bad people but the silence of the good people. Yeah. If good people do not speak up for the animals, if they don't stand up and become their voice, even if we cannot shout to be the whisper for those people, those animals who are suffering every day because of whatever human beings are consuming in their daily life. It is difficult to give up some conditions that we have been brought up in. And uh, for me, it was very difficult. Uh, I would just want to share you, with you a short story that in 1995, uh, Chitra Manuji and myself were invited in Las Vegas and we had to give a lecture there and then uh, there was a women american women group and uh, took me out for lunch so obviously they they knew that i was vegetarian and at that time i wasn't a vegan so they asked me that uh, uh, what will you have for lunch and i said no i don't want to eat anything so they said would you like to drink something so i said uh, yes milkshake and they said, ice cream with it? I said, yeah, that would be wonderful because it's so hot. So I took a milkshake with ice cream, vanilla ice cream. And a few of them were very surprised that I ordered a milkshake. So I could see that surprise on their face and they were taken aback because they had heard, heard a lot about us promoting vegetarianism. So they asked me that, uh, Mrs. Chitrabhanu, uh, do you take dairy? And I said, yeah. So I said, from the childhood, I, we do take dairy. So she said that you don't know what happens to the dairy industry? I said, no. Uh, and at the same time, Chitrabhanuji was with some fellow American friends. So he also was given, given the milkshake and he drank the same thing. So we both had this experience. So then they said that why don't you uh, read about it because there is so much abuse to the animals and there is so the animals are taken to the slaughterhouse. And I said really I didn't know. And that one sip of that milkshake was so difficult for me to take. So I really could not finish it because I really did not know at that time what it takes to get the one glass of milk. So I went back, we both flew back in second day and Chitavanuji said that tomorrow please in the morning make black tea for me. <laughs> so I said that assured, see what about you? I said I'm sorry, I don't think so I can give up milk and tea. So I drank my tea. And then he said that why don't you go and find out if there is any alternative. So I went to the um, health food store next to the, uh, uh, on 86th Street and 1st Avenue in Manhattan, we live there. So I went to the health food store and I said to them that you have any alternative to milk? And they said, yes, we have lots. I said, I come to this store all the time. I've never seen it. And there were lines and lines of different kinds of milk and that was a shift. I brought that milk at home, soy milk, and I became a vegan from that time because I think something in us, especially the Indians who have spiritual background, something or the other touches our heart and we really get convinced about it because ahimsa is not a concept. It is a conviction of the consciousness. When your consciousness is convinced, when your atma is convinced, and when you feel the empathy about the living beings, and when you feel their pain is your pain, 
I don't think so we'll be able to take those products that involve uh, violence, abuse, and any kind of torture. So that was the time when I gave up my our dairy product. And since then, we are with mind and with our hands, we have to support this cause and support the organization. And this cannot be the best opportunity for us to be part of this movement. Thank you so much.